Business Partners has launched two specialized small and medium enterprises funds for the property sector. Company MD Nazim Martin is in studio with me now to explain more about these funds. So good to have you with us, Nazim. Thank you for having me and good afternoon to your listeners. Fantastic. Let's get into these two funds. Uh, it's focused on the SME sector. Uh, the first one is uh, the property fund, and I understand that this makes 200 million rand available. Uh, the purpose and the mandate and the drive of this fund? We established these two funds, and they are largely aimed at entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs from the small and medium business space. The one fund, the property fund, primarily focuses on entrepreneurs running sound businesses, mm -hmm. uh, enabling them to acquire or buy the premises from which they are operating. Now, uh, m many people might argue that uh, it's crazy to occupy uh, or, or to buy a property, for, for, or for a business to buy a property, because you're tying up capital in the property. But from mm -hmm. our perspective, we think it makes a lot of sense. It does a number of things. It helps an entrepreneur secure tenure. You're not subject to the whims and, and fancies of, of a landlord who may or may not uh, um, ask you to leave at the end of your lease. Um, it also helps an entrepreneur to build up a bit of a nest egg should he or she wish to retire, they could sell their business and lease out the premises to the new owner mm -hmm. and, and therefore they have some retirement planning in place. It also helps them to build up an asset base against which they can borrow at a later stage in order to recapitalize their business or to help, uh, to help them acquire other finance for growing their business. So, so th that, that particular fund, the property fund, is purely aimed at the businessman or the entrepreneur from the SME space looking to occupy his or, own, uh, his or her own premises. But in that particular fund, we will provide 100% of finance to the entrepreneur, which means we cover the purchase price plus the transfer costs and transfer duty associated with the transaction as well. Maintenance obviously would be something of their own. That would be separate and that would be paid for by the tenant usually, which would be the, the, the entrepreneur's operating company. Exactly. The, the relationship between yourselves and how you identify or source these, com these properties, is the properties that the entrepreneur has identified and tells you that they want to purchase that? Or do you have preferred properties that you yourselves have okay. an interest in? We have entrepreneurs approaching us regularly, um, either, either directly or via what we call intermediaries. Intermediaries being their advisors. We could range from accountants or lawyers or uh, bankers or business brokers or property brokers. They come to us via these, and, and, uh, via these intermediaries and they, they come to us with the, because they often can't meet the onerous requirements of traditional lenders like banks. Mm -hmm. uh, usually if they had to go to a, a bank to acquire a property, let's say they wanted to buy the property that they occupy for a million rand. If they had to go to the, ba the, the normal banker, they would probably be required to put down 40% as a deposit, 40 to 50%. So 400,000 to 500,000 as mm -hmm. a deposit. And then the bank would then lend them the balance, the 500 to 600,000 rand, provided that they can put up collateral which covers that money at least one time. And so the, that's the, the, the trick about this. I, it's difficult for people to get traditional finance because they have to take money out of the working capital of their business, often compromising its viability in order to acquire a piece of real estate. We say there are much better ways to, to spend your working capital than to invest in property. We'll provide the 100% financing. So they come to us from a number of sources. We advertise, of course, but we have this exclusive focus on small and medium businesses. So, so we, we, we advertise all, in all places. We certainly build up good relationship with the advisors. And many people, or the most of the people, come to us via referrals, actually. Mm. Let's touch on your other fund. It's the joint venture property fund, also something similar, but the joint venture perspective? Okay. Uh, the one was to help people occupy their own business premises. The other one is if you are an, are an entrepreneur out there and you wish to become a property investor, then uh, you are often confronted by the little scenario I sketched a little earlier. So, so let's say the studio we're sitting in is an office block yeah. and you're an entrepreneur who wishes to buy this office block. Uh, and let's say for argument's sake it's going to cost a million rand. And all you have is 200,000 rand. If you went to your favorite traditional financier or banker, there's a good chance you're not going to get the 800,000 rand because sure. usually they require you to put up 400 to 500,000 rand of the money. Now, in, your, in this particular scenario, property is going to cost a million. You've got 200,000. You've got a choice. You need a, you, if they're going to give you 600, you need to find another 200 somewhere. You can either go to family and friends and relatives, and if you lose the money, you lose your family and friends, mm -hmm. but hopefully that's not what you're going to do. Or you could go to an institutional investor like ourselves. We would match your 200,000 in the form of equity, 
pure equity. So, so you put in 200,000 as equity, we put in 200,000. We then either, as business partners, may lend the 600,000 or we may jointly go to a bank and, re and, and raise the balance of the funding at a very competitive interest rate. Mm -hmm. But because we are an equity partner, mm -hmm. we're in a joint venture, together we own this property. You put up 50% of the money, the equity, we put up 50%. We own 50%, you own 50% of, of the property. There are lots of benefits in this for you as investor. It means that if you had one million rand, you could use the one million rand to buy this property. Or you could use the one million rand to buy five properties. Two and f five pop properties of a million rand each. Well, how do you do that? You put on 200,000, you get me to match your 200,000 on every property. Exactly. And we together buy five different properties. So this joint venture fund enables property investors, entrepreneurs who make a living out of investing in property, to make them, it, it allows them to make their money go a little bit further because we are a pure equity investor, not unlike they are, and we can- Diversifying uh, as well. Precisely. Thank you so much for your time today. Much, much, much appreciated. It does seem as though you're making progress in the right circles. Thanks once more. That was uh, Business Partners MD, Nazim Martin.